In Mortal Shell, you play as the Silence from Doctor Who. Despite how I may act, I don't actually have a mental disorder, so I've never actually seen the show. With the ability known as Harding, you too can become as hard as a priest thinking about his favorite choir boy. This boss's name is probably the most pathetic anagram I've seen in quite some time. Because the Silence shares 95% of its DNA with the common hermit crab, he too can also live in shells. I have little to no fucking idea what's going on right now. Oh! Oh! I Immortal Shell, when you die, they literally slap the bitch out of you. If you're able to get back to your body before the silence dies, you can just jump right back in like nothing happened. Oh, what the fuck? In Gabushka. Alright. Did that come from you? The oh, fuck off! Goddamn jump scare bear trap piece of. God damn it! Look at this fucking loser sitting by himself with no friends. Oh, fuck! Can I soothe him with music? Oh, oh, oh no, I can't! Yeah! Oh. How do I go backwards? How do I go backwards? That was like the most nope thing I've seen in quite a while in video games. Oh my fucking Christ! Oh, God damn it! Help me, frog! Oh, you coward! More than I probably- Ah, oh, fuck off! God damn it! Bear traps every goddamn fucking time! This is a fucking horror game! What are you looking at? To unlock new weapons through the game, the steps are 1. Find a book 2. Piss off a librarian 3. Spooky fairy spider in my armor 4. Act like my grandpa when he doesn't get his pills I'm glad I hit him And step 5. Beat the shit out of Hordor and steal the last of his toys You monster what do you think he's, like, actually drinking out of that cup right there? Oh shit, boy, it's the Bill Cosby special! My grandpa does this very same thing if you take a flashlight and turn it on and off really fast right in his eyeballs. Huh. Shit. I, really I feel like the World of Mortal Show is actually done really well. The dark color palette and ominous vibe makes it feel as if though the world itself is against you. All of the biomes you come across are all very diverse and even have their own unique enemies. And this being an indie game shows how much the creators actually worked on this. Is that smoke? <laughs> so I will applaud the atmosphere and environment they created for their game. Something I won't praise is their aneurysm causing layout of their game. I probably could have beaten the game in half the time that I did if I wasn't busy running around in a fucking circle because I don't know where I go. I really enjoyed the combat in Mortal Shell. It was a lot smoother than it is in the Dark Souls game, and it was a lot less punishing. Yeah, that's fine. Ah, oh, cool, they have a firing squad. That's perfect, I love that. Oh, fuck off! Ow! The only way to get knocked out of Harden is if they hit you. Arrows will not break you out of Harden. Which means I am perfectly invincible. <laughs> this game is fucking stupid. There is essentially no real customization of your characters. You can have four different shells, and they already have their preset abilities that you can unlock using essentially souls. But to be able to level them up, you have to figure out what the shell's name is. I'm gonna be straight with you. I thought I had to go into the world to find their name. I thought I had to physically and go and find their name. But after I played for six hours already, I finally figured out how to do it! Cause I think... I think I see something that's about to piss me the fuck off! I'm about to get really fucking pissed off, I know it! Existence is a cure.
I'm genuinely upset. I'm genuinely upset. The charge thing! It say hold A! Eh? It say there's a point in A! Eh? Why not? We're moving past this. It doesn't fucking matter. I just lost countless how many fucking souls over and over again because I'm fucking retarded. Jesus fucking Christ. What do you want, you ugly piece of shit? You think I can make it onto that? Good. Oh. No! Get the fuck! Oh! Okay, hi! Oh. Will you be my boar mommy? Weapons are the same way as the shells, they have their own abilities that you just have to pay for. You can't personally customize it yourself, but they do have some pretty sick abilities. That's just kind of fucked up. I wonder where this path goes. Is there like a secret down here? Or... Fuck. All in all, I did really enjoy the game. It was relatively short, but you do have to keep in mind this is just an indie game. Not a lot of people were working on it. If you're looking for a Souls like that's as punishing as the real Dark Souls, this is not the game for you. This is probably one of the easiest Souls-like games I've played. I recommend this to people who like want to start playing Souls-like games or just Dark Souls or any of the other hard games as like a stepping stone because it is relatively easy. If you're not used to this, you might, you know, get fucked a lot, but it's still very easy. There is a New Game Plus option, but I'm not going to be playing this game again. It was fun, just not worth my time again. That was my review on Mortal Shell. If this does well enough, I might make more of these. I'm not sure yet. We'll figure it out. Remember, liking and subscribing is up to you, but do keep in mind, I genuinely do not fucking care what you do with your life. That's all for today. So long. Fuck off.